Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. Today I want to bring you a very interesting topic, focus. What is focusing on something? Literally speaking, it's keeping your attention on something, it's seeing something better, it's visualizing something deeply. When we always tell you that everything you focus on reverberates in the universe, is the materialization of this entire definition. So let's understand better. You focus on many things and often don't realize it. So let's start by talking, focus on ephemeral things, on things that bring no return to your lives, a return in practical terms, because in energetic terms there will always be a return. So it's that moment when you step out of the house and are already scared of what might happen to you during the day, or on the way home, or on the way to where you're going. So, you unconsciously focused on fear. And he focused on the fear of that situation. I can also mention, you are leaving and you are already focusing on the fact that today, you will have another boring day at work. You also just gave focus to this feeling. Hey, but isn't focusing on keeping your vision on something? Not necessarily. Focusing is simply having a vision of it, you don't need to keep looking at it all the time, but it has already been established as a goal for that day. And then we can mention in other situations, where you start saying that the day will be boring, that your life sucks, that nothing you want happens. Very good. Notice how many decrees you just made because you focused on these issues. So I'm going to tell you that the simple fact of thinking about something and expressing a thought, a feeling, or an action based on that is a focus. And that is created in the universe, in the astral, you just created that situation. Nothing is lost in the universe. Your thought, your action, your words became that thing, that thing that has no form, but has an essence, has an energy in the universe. And even if you only spoke once. To make it easier, I'm going to tell you to think of this situation as a small ball that you created. This little ball was created by you. Yes, let's say it has your name written on it, and it wanders around the universe. But then there is another person, on the other side of the world, who thinks exactly the same thing, today noon will suck, my job is horrible. What will happen to me today, will I be robbed, what will happen? Thoughts of another person, who you, who emanated that little ball, don't know. And when that person emanated the same feeling as you, oh yes, I forgot to say that the universe is very wise. He doesn't create identical balls otherwise it wouldn't be of any use and would be absurdly incompatible with the love of the universe, because the feelings would all be spread out. So, going back to our example, that other person emanated what you had emanated, exactly the same feeling that you put into that little ball. So, that other person also emanated a little ball, but due to the intelligence of the universe, he knows that there is already a little ball like that. So what does the universe do? Put these two balls together and exactly like physicality, if you have two glasses half filled and you turn one over the other, the glass will fill. So in the same way, the little ball that had a certain size, when joined to that other, doubled in size. Because she received all the contents of the other ball and so on. And in this way egregors are created. Egregors are nothing more than a set of identical thoughts from across the planet. So when you talk, which, by the way, a lot of people think is nonsense, that words have no power, I will say that you are still mistaken. Because the word is actually the sum of your thought with the vibration of the sound you made. So, it is something much more powerful than just a thought. Because you put not just the thought, but the sound waves coupled to it. Then it becomes more powerful, and if you think and emanate those words with anger, with resentment, those sound waves transform into an immense ball because the feeling amplified it all. So nothing, my brothers, that you speak of is lost in the universe. No energy is lost, it is either transformed into another or remains as it was generated. But it is not lost, it does not dissolve, simply with the passing of time. So don't think that you're talking nonsense and the universe didn't hear it, it let it go. No, no, no that reverberates throughout the universe. And when you often say something stupid, and you are aware that you said it, 
and you deeply regret it, ask for forgiveness, ask the universe to cancel what you said, because it was in a moment of lack of lucidity that you said it, this also works. That energy is transformed into light and wanders like a little ball of light throughout the universe. Now, there is an interesting point, there is also no point in asking everything you say to cancel. Because let's say like this, that everything has a limit. So if you say 10 nonsense, for an hour and you ask to cancel them all. Interesting. The universe starts to get a little smarter. Then in the next hour, you say 10 more nonsense and ask the universe to cancel it. Oops, oops, the universe will think, no wait, it's not like that. She has to stop talking and not talk and keep asking to cancel. And then, your order will no longer be cancelled, it will go to the universe. So creating a small ball, just once, there is the possibility of cancellation. Now create the same little ball, once again and keep asking to cancel, then the universe doesn't cancel anymore, because it realized that you didn't learn your lesson. So back to focus. Focus is everything you put your thought on. It's not about looking all the time, it's about thinking about it. And then I will tell you, that in addition to this little ball that you create and that grows and becomes an egregore, you are also generating on your own path, the result of what you emanated. So if you emanate fear of a certain situation, it comes back. Every action has a reaction. So you emanate fear all day long, that something bad will happen to you. This will become a consequence on your own path and you will receive exactly what you focused on. Because you didn't just focus, you emanated fear, so it amplified. And because you have focused on that many times, not only has the planet's egregore been fed, but your own egregore. Because you have an energy field around you, which is the sum of all the bodies you have. So if you just emanate fear of something, this reverberates inside your little egregore, inside this aura of yours, and what will you attract? Exactly what you are afraid of because you are focusing on that. And if you focus on that, the universe thinks, she wants that. Then give it to him. No, the universe does not differentiate whether what you are asking for is bad or good for you, it just gives you what you focus on. So, you leave home complaining that your job sucks, that once again your day will be bad. The universe simply responds, another bad day for her and sends her away. You think this is all a little complicated to understand and I say no, I say it's very simple. All you have to do is close your mouth and you'll stop thinking nonsense. Try an experiment, instead of setting foot outside the house and starting to emanate a lot of negative things, do the opposite. Say, my day will be wonderful. I will have a wonderful day at work. I will go and return to my home safely. I will meet wonderful people. Look at how many good things you are focusing on and emanating into the universe. But you are emanating positive things. Yes, they also have egregores and they are the sum of these positive egregores that they have around the planet, which eliminates the negative ones. But unfortunately, I must say, the negatives today on your planet are immense and getting bigger and bigger. Because you only emanate fear, it is fear all the time and you are receiving back all the consequences of your fear. I like to say that the negative doesn't force anyone to do anything, and this is true. What they say, what they do, you absorb if you want, you are not obligated to absorb it. But what do you do? They generate fear, focus on the problem.